this lean spell. You know, he was. You know, by the time he was 15, we were all we were all talking about him then about going on to be a, a multiple world champion, and then it, the, the wheels fell off. Six and then, of course, that massive win over Murph King in the Grand Prix, and the the rest is history. But his the most concerning thing is the fact that he's been unable to defend the title. Thirty-four. Well, he does have some very good displays over the last few weeks, but he has lost a couple of games. He, he lost a heartbreaker with Simon Whitlock at the Grand Slam, missing a load of match darts. He was undone by a superlative display from the Diamond Ian White at the European Championship. But he did play well in those games. He was averaging, averaging in excess or in or around 100. And like we were just discussing with with, with Jose and, and, and Gabriel, you can't keep it in those big numbers and, and not come up with a come one up with a title. One. Well, look, he, he's judged on different standards to everybody else in the world of darts. And, he has a poor few weeks, then. And the last one that was done in front of a crowd, of course, was was the UK Open, and he was outstanding in that. He had a ridiculously tough draw, averaged 105 for the tournament. Hang about. Ooh, well, that would have been some statement to start. And that's what he's trying to do, isn't it? He's, he's trying to take those kind of shots out to, to get confidence. Well, that's, he used to do that because it was almost like he was showing off. Now he's doing it because he wants to prove a point. And there we go. I think he's certainly made an emphatic statement in the opening exchanges of this one. Now, Johnny Clayton, who we haven't really mentioned, he's a World Cup champion this year with Wales. The first time they've won the title, he and Gerwin Price dovetailing beautifully to take the title. And he has beaten MVG on a few occasions and beaten him with big, big displays. They have a, a knack, these two, of bringing the best out of each other. Similar, similar rhythm and tempo. Suit each other, they just get on, throw the darts, get out of the way. And he was just edged out of the top 16 in the world recently, Johnny Clayton, but you only have to talk to a lot of the very, very top players, wow, MVG wow, included, the likes of Gary you. Anderson. They have a lot of respect for the ferret, because yeah, they've seen him. And then back to going for that 170. Well, of course, we've seen him on the, on the Pro Tours. <laughs> you know, three balls and double-double shots and... Some real showpiece shots. Well, he's gone double double there. I mean, there's no, there's nothing wrong with going to sort of the outside portion of the big 18 in case you get the double to leave double 16. But I don't think he realised that Clayton was was back on 176. I mean, it's a long way off where we meant to throw it. 14. But he leaves the 48 that he took out with absolutely no bother in the opening leg. 100. Oh, 48 for back to back 14 dark legs. Oh, that's me. And Get 16 is the there. I mean, it's a very, very good leg, bar two very, very odd darts. A seven, nowhere near the 16. Yeah. And then that dart at double 18 that was, like you say, it was, a, it was a good inch or so away. Well, he's in a quarter of the draw here, Michael Van Gerwen, where James Wade, his wow, highest seeded wow, rival, wow, has been wow. taken out. Neil Zonneveld, who's currently in action on the other stage, taking on Dirk van Dijvenboda in an all-Dutch encounter. He took care of James Wade, so that's one wow, obvious wow, rival wow, gone. Wow, Johnny Clayton wow. would have been another danger, but Jeffrey Desvan, who we've just seen throw 100 average for two games running is now in the last 16 and Desvan and MVG do have some history beating him in the match play beating him in the UK Open well he beat him in back to back yeah. didn't he back to back TV, TV events not many people have beaten the world number one in back to back TV events but Jeffrey Desvan is one of the players who can say that they've done it 99 was that the year Gary Anderson won the match play? It was, because he gave Sulevich in the final, yeah. He, he gave, gave uh, Gary Anderson an absolute frightener. He did. One hundred. Maybe Jeffrey Desvan is getting back to his stunning best. Michael Van Gerwen, treble 18, would leave the bullseye. 
can't produce it. Johnny Clayton might be allowed his first 54. dart at double in this contest. He's averaging 95 at the moment, Clayton, but that's a, a scoring average, as you said. It's not a, a double. And that's what Johnny happens Clayton when he does. It's almost like the, the timing's out. There's just... You know, even, even that... 100 average last night it looked forced didn't it, it, it... The, th the thing is One because we've not we're 25. not used to seeing michael van gogh in strong he hasn't picked up a title on the stage since that uk open now yeah. i know it's been a weird year where there haven't been as many tournaments but all the big tv the majors have taken place we still had three euro tours he didn't win any of those four euro tours in didn't, fact. didn't qualify for the final four of the the premier league yeah I mean, this is a man who finished top of the league phase every single year. He finished One sixth this year. 23. You could see there's something wrong. He could see there's something wrong. And even by his own admission of late, he said, I'm not back at my best yet, 100. but it is coming. Yeah, I'm, st I'm still convinced it's it's something that's crept into his his throw in the, the position of the dart in the hand. It used to, it used to point upwards, and now it's sort of getting slightly clawed into his grip. Well, whatever it is, it seems that over the next month or so, he's either eliminating it or finding a way to compensate for it. Because yeah, that's exactly what he's done. But sometimes your throw does change and evolve, and you just you know you change with it. And, and confidence you... is always a factor, yeah. of course. Winning games, winning titles. You'd probably find if MVG goes and wins this for a sixth time. Then at the last woes of the few months we've seen it just disappear. Yeah. 13 for tops. Oh, and that ferret is just short on the double top that would have leveled this game. Now, MVG, 20. Has to move to find the double top, Ben. Game and does do. But he'll be a little bit... I would think he'll be a little bit wary of showboating too much because the game against Simon Whitlock at the Grand Slam it looked like, oh, MVG is back, he's big finishes and big scores, and he's One looking straight down the camera to the people at home, and he may, may as well basically written, I'm back on the camera lens. And then he lost because he missed a load of match darts. So I One think he'll be a little bit wary of giving it the full treatment. Well, I have noticed, uh, you know, across social media and interviews with, you know, with all the online darts pages, there's a lot of bickering going on between the players, isn't there? Well, I think he's trying to play mental mind well, games. And it's often backfired on pretty much all of them. Well, I think it's perhaps a symptom of the fact that the very top end of PDC darts looks more competitive, more hotly contested, well, more even than, than it has been possibly ever. Yeah, yeah 100%. Well, the titles are just getting shared around, aren't they? They are fighting. That, that's never happened. 78. Only require 160. They're fighting like ferrets in a sack for these titles. Ferret's not going to take out the 161. 55. And he won't put as big a dent in it as he would have liked. Oh, this is a, a double break opportunity for Michael. 90. Only require 106. One treble required. He's got it. And the single to lead double 16. Game's and he pins it, Johnny Clayton, for Johnny a 106 Clayton. checkout that keeps him in touch with a world number one. MVG is not firing on all cylinders, but he's looking pretty good. Gentlemen, man to beat him Michael before the, the final. Game on. Only man to beat him before the final in the last few years. 3 2 to the world number one. We've only seen two darts 81. missed at double so far in this match, but we've not seen either man really hammer that treble 20 bed as we know they're able to do. Well, it, One. It's all looked a, a little bit scruffy at times from, from Michael, but he's still averaging 101. 96. Stage two action has just been completed with Dirk van Dijvenbode, the aubergine farmer from the Netherlands. The diving to, board. Yes. Seeing off Neil Zonneveld, the conqueror of James Wade. One Maximum for MVG, just his second of this encounter. Leaves 1-4-4. One, four, four. One hundred. 
Why 144? Junior Clayton very much warming to the task. 100. Johnny, you require 161. Two trebles in the ball. Cannot get the first treble, and so MVG can open up that two leg Michael gap Ricardo, once again. 24. Twenty-eight. Johnny requires the break of throw that Clayton desperately needs is on offer right here. He's going to get one dart at double sixteen. Thirty. How important Michael will that moment prove? Well, when Michael gets beat, those are the things that those are the shots that go, aren't they? It's almost predictable while you're watching it. second leg, Johnny the throw first. Game on. Well, even in Van Gerwen's enormous haul of career titles, there's a fair few of them where you can look back at some point and go, there was your chance. You had, somebody had a chance to stop him. Yep. And they weren't able to do so. One round of 31. He has beaten MVG on the big stage, beaten him in the Grand Slam in the group stages one year, Johnny Clayton, although MVG he immediately paid, got revenge in the quarters. I was going to say, he paid the price one, in the quarters, yeah. didn't he? <laughs> That's the problem with Michael Van Gogh. You beat him, but then it, he just condemns you to another seven hefty defeats after that. Yeah, he has, a, he has quite, quite the memory. I, re I remind him fairly frequently of my good record against him, and he does ask me if I would like a game over distance from a few shillings you played a blinder in what you've done you've got the win in and then quickly retired so he can't then hammer you for years to come absolutely 64 and you can see the use of the board there if he got the treble 20 by using the 19 the ball he would have got down to a finish just couldn't find that last treble he needed single 16 to leave tops wow, lovely right stuff from the ferry tops after 12 tidy leg 58. Different match if that 62's gone in. Absolutely, all the 113 where he missed tops earlier in the yeah. match, but he doesn't miss tops this time Johnny around. 13 data for Johnny Clayton, and he is not letting Van Gerwen get away from him. His three winning legs, 14, 15, and 13. 57. And averaging now more than Michael, 99.33, Johnny Clayton, 97.49. But Michael Van Gerwen, that will change after that visit, of course. There we go. It's just very efficient and functional darts at the minute from Clayton. No 180s, but lots One of tons. A few 140s, 34. taking his chances, or most of them, when they present themselves. Well, the only column that MVG is ahead in is 41. that 180 column, 2-0. I'd say functional darts with lots of tons and ton 40s. Yep. He scores 41 there, John Clayton. Mm -hmm. just to Thanks for that derail that, 16. but Van Gogh not punishing. 100. AC3. And as we hear from Michael so often, you know, it's almost a, a cliche from him now, but doing the right things at the the right moments, and this match is a perfect example of that. Well, that's a right thing at exactly the right moment for Johnny Clayton, because the 180 leaves himself on a two data for a break of throw. He has not broken the MVG throw in this match as yet. Does that change now? Double 12, double six. Oh, Ferret. I mean, it does leave him his favourite double, but is he going to be allowed back? Doubtful. No score. The frailties Johnny that have existed in recent times are still there for MVG. And Johnny Clayton, he says, no joke, double one's his favourite double on the board. And it does not let I him down. Johnny Clayton. My leg, Johnny, the throw first. Game on. 
Is Johnny Clayton now the favourite for this match? A best of three encounter and he has the throw. One run of 40. Ninety six. Could well be in the back room already having a coffee because he should have won the last Fifty three five. legs. Or had darts, that's for sure. Yeah, odd darts at the end of combinations. You think, yeah, that was a chance. But he's not had any legs like MVG wow, there. He's just missed and missed and missed, has he? No. He has taken 40% of his darts at double there, Johnny Clayton. It's exactly the same as Michael Van Gerwen, but where those misses have happened and the manner of them. He's left the door open here. Wow, MVG to pile in a two treble visit and take control of the leg. And the match, you would feel, needs another treble. 100. Mark, we require 138. He might be relying on MVG missing again. Does he stay there? No, he moved to the 18s. And he will leave himself tops. It'll look a silly decision to move if Clayton takes this out. And he might yet to leave tops. Oh, the ferret nearly. Michael, you require 40. A warning for MVG, but he pins double top to immediately wrestle back control of the game. With the nine legs played. Clayton's had a dart, at least one dart, a double in seven of them. Well, it wasn't quite the swaggering confident MVG that you saw celebrate that double was it because he was probably still shaking a little from the missed tops from the ferret but can he run away with it now can he close this out we said you sometimes see Van Gerwen when he's won titles that there was a chance to beat him that might be the best chance anyone gets this weekend well, especially when we go up in distance don't we now round three onwards Best of 19, first one to 10. 74. And the biggest celebration we've seen from the world number one so far in this match because he thinks he has got it in the bag. But recent events 99. prove that it ain't over Michael till it's over. Well, potentially best leg of the match. Tops for an 11 darter. Michael Van Gogh survives a real battle with the ferret. A mutual respect between the pair of them, but the man who has won this title five times before is still in the hunt for a sixth. And he's coming for you, Jeffrey Desvan. Another tough test awaits.